Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on connected rates of change and solving differential equations. Here is the exam question. Figure 4 shows a cylindrical tank that contains some water. The tank has an internal diameter of 8 meters and an internal height of 4.2 meters. Water is flowing into the tank at a constant rate. The word rate indicates a differential. Please look out for the word rate in your examination. So, constant rate of 0.6 pi meter cubed per minute. Always look out for the units. So meter cubed per minute indicates dV over dt. There is a tap at point T, okay, there's point T, at the bottom of the tank. At time T minutes after the tap has been opened, the depth of the water is H meters, indicated in figure 4. The water is leaving the tank at a rate of 0 0.15 pi H meter cubed per minute. Again, the word rate and looking at the units, meter cubed per minute. That indicates dV over dt. Okay, part A, show that dH over dt is equal to 12 minus 3H over 320. Please pause the video, have a go at part A. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Now, part A is a connected rates of change question. My top tip for connected rates of change is to generate more than one differential. Once you've generated more than one differential, your next step is to connect the differentials in order to arrive at the differential that you want to arrive at. So in this scenario, we want to arrive at the differential dH over dt. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. I'm going to start by calculating the volume of water in the tank. So the volume V of a cylinder is given by pi r squared times h. Let's calculate the volume of water in the tank. So the volume of water V in the tank is given by pi times radius squared. So the diameter is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4, so the radius is 4. We square that and we multiply by the depth of the water in the tank, which is H. So the volume of water in the tank is given by 16 pi H. So I've got V in terms of H. I can now use this formula to generate my first differential. I can find dV over dH. So if I differentiate V with respect to H, that will be 16 pi. That there, ladies and gents, is my first differential. Now let's go back to the wording of the question. We've got water is flowing into the tank at a constant rate of 0 0.6 pi meter cube per minute. So we've got water going in at 0 0.6 pi. Then if we go back to this bullet point over here, the second bullet point, it says the water is leaving the tank at a rate of 0 0.15 pi h meter cubed per minute. So we've got water leaving at 0 0.15 pi h. Right, so if I go back to the units, meter cubed per minute, meter cubed per minute, I can generate a differential for dv over dt. So I've got water going in, so that's positive, 0 0.6 pi and then water going out, that is negative, 0 0.15 pi h. So ladies and gents, that is my dv over dt. Now, to get my dh over dt, I then need to use connected rates of change. I've got dh over something multiplied by the same something over dt. Let's go back to the question. We've got three variables here. We've got v, h and t. So we've used up the h, we've used up the t, what is remaining is the v. So the blank over here, ladies and gents, is dv. The dv is cancelled, giving us a dh over dt. Hence the left and right are equivalent. Right, so we've got dh over dt is equal dh over dv, that is a reciprocal of 16 pi, so 1 over 16 pi, multiplied by dv over dt, which is this one over here. So I've got 0 0.6 pi minus 0 0.50 pi h. So if I multiply these two, I get precisely dh over dt equal 0 0.6 pi minus 0 0.15 pi h over 16 pi. So I want to go from this fraction to this fraction. I notice that in this fraction there is no pi involved. So I must take out a common factor of pi in the numerator in order to cancel the pi in the numerator with the pi in the denominator. So I've got dh over dt 
equal pi, take it out as a common factor, in bracket 0 0.6 minus 0 0.15 h, close bracket, all over 16 pi. So the pi's now cancel out. The differential equation reduces to dh of a dt equals 0 0.6 minus 0 0.15 h over 60. So now I say to myself, okay, over here in the denominator, I've got 320. How do I go from a 16 to a 320? Well, ladies and gents, I can multiply top and bottom by 20 for this fraction. So if I multiply top and bottom by 20, I get therefore precisely dh of a dt is equal 12 minus 3h over 320 as required. So that completes part A of this exam question. Moving on to part B of the exam, question. Given that the depth of the water in the tank is 0.5 meter when the tap is opened, this means that when the tap is open, T is equal zero, and the depth of the water H in the tank is 0.5. Find the time taken for the depth of the water in the tank to reach 3.5 meter. So we're trying to work out T when H is equal 3.5. Ladies and gents, please pause the video, have a go at part B. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. So from that paragraph there, we know that when t is equal 0, h is equal 0 0.5, we are trying to find t when h is equal 3.5. That is our target. Now to do this, we need to first solve this differential equation. The technique that we apply is separation of variables. So I'm going to start off by writing the differential equation dh over dt equal 12 minus 3h over 3. 20. I can start by multiplying both sides of the differential equation by dt. So if I do this, I get dh is equal 12 minus 3h over 320 in brackets multiplied by dt. Then I can multiply both sides of this differential equation by 320. So if I do this, I get 320 dh equal 12 minus 3h in bracket dt. The next step is to divide both sides of the differential equation by 12 minus 3h. So doing this gives me 320 over 12 minus 3h dh is equal dt. Now dt is the same as 1 dt. So what we have done is we've separated the variables. We've got h on one side and t on the other side. The next step is to integrate both sides. So I can take the integral of the left side, which is 320 over 12 minus 3h dh equal to the integral of the right side. So that's the integral of 1 dt. Right, so let's start off with the left hand side. So this here integrates to 320, okay, that's your constant, multiplied by 1 over the coefficient of h, which is minus 3. And we know that the fraction integrates to a natural logarithm, ln. 12 minus 3h equal the 1 integrates to t with respect to t plus the constant of integration. Keep your constant on the right hand side for simplicity. Now we can work out the c value by substituting our first boundary condition. When t is equal 0, h is equal 0 0.5. Okay, so we've got 0 plus c, which is c. The right hand side becomes c. The left hand side becomes minus 320 over 3 ln 21 over 2. Okay, so that there's 21 over 2 because if I put h equals 0 0.5 into here, the 12 minus 3 times 0 0.5 becomes 21 over 2. Now I can put my constant of integration back into this equation. Okay, so the left hand side we can rewrite it as minus 320 over 3 ln 12 minus 3h equal the t minus 320 over 3 ln 21 over 2. Okay, so I've got an equation involving t and h. Now I can work out t when h is equal 3.5. Ladies and gents, I can make t the subject. So I've got t equal, I can take this natural logarithm to the left hand side. So if I do this, I get 320 over 3 ln 21 over 2, take away 320 over 3 ln 12 minus 3h. 
So that's equal t. Now if I want to, I can actually simplify this. So I'm subtracting two natural logarithms and I've got a 320 over 3 here and 320 over 3 here. So I can directly combine them using the division law or you could say division rule for logarithms. So I've got 320 over 3 ln 21 over 2 divide by 12 minus 3h. So I've made t the subject. Now I can calculate t when h is equal 3.5. So I can substitute h, which is 3.5. Right, so ladies and gents, if I put this into my calculator, I get 208 minutes to the nearest minute. And that there, ladies and gents, completes this exam question and this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question, uh, connected rates of change and solving differential equations. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.